Rowan here. I've been getting emails from captains and coaches across the country wondering if I could teach their players the art of the air bounce. My apologies for taking too long and offering instructional video on the most critical part of any throw. First thing for an air bounce is we're gonna slide our thumb over to the middle of the disc. This is gonna help us put more pressure this way versus the normal throw here. We're gonna rotate our wrist in a counterclockwise movement while we release. This is gonna push the disc down and bounce it up against the air to our receiver. We can add arm motion to give it more power or momentum into the flight of the throw. The forehand air bounce is a little trickier. Instead of holding it like a normal flick, we're gonna cheat and bring all four fingers to the middle of the disc and we're gonna slide our thumb in here. It's important not to follow through too much. You kinda wanna snap back as soon as you release. Now that we have the fundamentals of throwing an air bounce backhand and forehand, we're gonna add in some throws that can benefit from a little bounce too. We're gonna start by putting some air bounce on a high release backhand. Instead of throwing the high release flick that always seems to blade off to the right, I recommend throwing the high release flick air bounce backhand, which gives you a nicer flight path and more touch. For players struggling with their flick, I recommend just throwing the super inside air bounce around. The chicken wing can also have a little air bounce in it. The air bounce thumber, of course. Bootstrap, air bounce edition. I hope everybody was able to learn how to throw an air bounce today. As to those captains and coaches out there, you're welcome. I hope everybody brings that air bounce back.